Hi everybody, this is Heather and Cuz We Can Farms. In today's video, we run some errands, pick up a few things that we forgot, and deal with another injury on the property. Good morning. So here I am without my selfie stick again. So I hope this is not making a whole bunch of noise um, because my hand's over the microphone. <laughs> that annoys me just as much as it annoys you. <laughs> but what do you do when you're into editing? It's not much you can do, but I'm trying to remember to take it and I forgot and now I'm really far from the RV. And today we're going into town. We're going to run to Home Depot, pick up some more um, concrete and we're going to try and set these posts for the solar panel and then get some work done in the garden. We need to stake our um, tomato plants. So we're going to be working on that kind of stuff. Um, Again, Kimmy's not here. She won't be here for a few days. So we're try just trying to tie up these loose ends. Hopefully tomorrow we can work on the chicken coop. But for now, I want to get the solar stuff set up, get the garden tidied up, tidied up. All the critters have been taken care of this morning. We did not take you along because we were just trying to get it done. And to be honest, we did it in our pajamas. <laughs> so you don't need to see that. That's a little too much info. <laughs> The smoke's coming back, but it's pretty clear. Yes, I have my Crocs on with socks. Going into Home Depot. All right, probably gonna need some of these. Let me figure out the size. Okay, so that's an eight inch. I think that's what I need. Okay, finished with Home Depot. I quit taking you guys along because I ran into a friend of mine that works there and we chit-chatted for quite a while. So we got six bags of concrete and some other foaming stuff that uh, um, I'll show you a picture of it here. And we're going to do a comparison of the two. So right now the comparison is one bag of that was $13.49 and it equals to two 50 pound bags of concrete could not find 50 pound bags of concrete. They did have 60 pound bags of concrete and those were 349 a piece. So let's just raise that up and say $8 for two bags of concrete and 1349, $13.50, $14 for a bag of the foaming stuff. Um, so that's the comparison so far of the cash. Now we're gonna go into North 40 and get some wood chips. All the hunting stuff. Kira, we wanted to go hunting this year. Okay, a little cart. Homesteading goals. All right, so we need a duck. Off walk is what we did before. And we need bunny feed. Which I think is down here. Yep. What you doing? Looking at Who are you spraying with fly spray? Myself. No, 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 no. I'm not dead yet. I've been doing <laughs> it for years. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed the tour of 
or seeing what was uh, North Forty has. If you don't have one near you, they're fun to walk around. Now we need to load these things, put it in here near our bags, head home, and figure out what else we're gonna do. I did forget to uh, check what size pipe I need for my wind turbine, so we are gonna have to make a second trip into town today. Maybe we'll get lunch. <laughs> How many trips do you make when you're doing a project into town, into the store, to get things that you need? Or are you guys much better about making a list? Let me know. Okay, so Kira and I were talking. Last year we were told um, if your pine trees have pine cones coming way down, then you're going to have a heavy, heavy winter. The sun's kind of making it hard to see. We're not seeing very many pine cones. Okay, that one kind of has some. So what that means is mild winter. Who's heard this before? I do have to say last year was when someone told me this and we did not have very many pine cones um, on, the, on the trees coming down, on the pine trees. Okay, so that one's about halfway. So this tree has pine cones going down halfway. That would imply a heavier winter than last year. But what we're seeing on a lot of the other trees, they're not very far down. So I'm guessing if we would go based on... And it's like it's behind the smoke but it hurts my eyes I'm having sensitive eye issues today like these ones that I'm looking at that one way over there only has them about the top quarter this one doesn't have very many at all that's right here in front of me oh that's a uh, fir not a pine oh but it does comes a quarter down so basically it's about the same as it was last year. So that means we might have a another mild winter. So Kira and I are dividing and conquering. I'm gonna make us some breakfast. She's gonna unload the truck. There you go. I have a hard time doing that, but that's how Kira likes it. So mine did not get as toasted as I like because my eggs started getting overcooked. <laughs> but that's breakfast, brunch, whatever we want to call it. We're going to get to this and then we're going to get out there and get started on the concrete or we might end up driving into Home Depot again to get the rest of the stuff. Okay, second trip to Home Depot. I got my manual. I'm trying to find the pole for um, the wind turbine and setting that up because that will be connected to the solar panel um, frame setup that we're doing. We're trying to get those in the hole in the ground today. So we've got to go get a pole so that we can make sure our measurements are correct. And I don't think we're going to get this up today. In fact, I know we're not, but hopefully early next week we'll be setting up that system. <laughs>
All right, so I'm thinking these. Those are super tiny. This is two and three eighths. And this you don't get to know because it's super long. One and three eighths. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna try. Not gonna lie, I just tried to record stuff and wasn't recording. <laughs> are these corner posts for chain link fence? It's the only thing that I'm finding. They are two and three eighths inch by eight feet, and they're really thick. They're sixteen gauge. And they're 16 gauge caliber. So that should do, it should at least get us to where we can make sure our four by fours are spaced correctly. Um, and I think these will work. We'll just have to figure out a way to connect them together to get them up there at least 20 feet in the air. Kira, are you tired? Yeah. <laughs> We're missing nap time. We are totally missing nap time. Let's go. My getaway cart. Look out! My chauffeur for the day. <laughs> I think we might have gotten this figured out. So we ended up going to plumbing, and they had some galvanized pipe that's 10 feet long, forty-five dollars, and it's even stronger. Hey, so, what? Say galvanized pipe three times fast. Galvanized pipe. Galvanized pipe. Galvanized pipe. <laughs> <laughs> he snorted. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so now I just need someone with a drill press. Uh, hint, hint, all you other Northern Idaho YouTubers to get a drill press <laughs> to drill a hole through this so that we can have some pivot points. It's so hot. It's so okay, warm. so we picked up a pipe. We picked up some more bags of concrete. We picked up some connectors. I am going to need to buy one more pole, but financially I can only afford one this month. So we're going to head home. We're going to eat our candy, and then we're going to get to burying these posts. I'm going to try to convince her to take a nap. <laughs> what do you guys think? Comment below if you think I should let Kara take a nap. <laughs> okay, so I've started making the stakes for the tomato cages. It's very wild and unruly. And that's okay. This guy's kind of fallen over and so is the little one behind there. This guy's standing up just fine, but I'm probably going to have to stake that, at least put something to hold it up. But what a difference a little bit of rain makes, right? Okay, so I have been working a little bit in the garden, getting the tomato plants staked. Hi, girls. You've been crying a whole bunch. Got it in selfie mode, so it's real hard to get good videos of them. Are you coming, Chiba? Are you coming? She's gonna take up her spot at the gate. She thinks we should milk her twice a day. So I'm gonna come check on Kira. She is pulling out those T-posts that I put in the other day. We decided to scoot them back, re-slam them in, pull the fence back. 
hopefully this will work. Are you coming, Chiba? Hi, girls. Hi, girly girls. Cool. Hey, Chiba, you made it. Like I'm old. Stop going fast. She's not old. <laughs> They're like, hey, thanks for bringing us around back here. Well, Kira tripped, fell over a tree limb, gouged herself with a tree. I don't know what it is about this year and accidents. So she's got some huge splinters in her leg. It's swollen. It actually looks worse in person than what it does on camera. One of my stitches got taken out. Okay. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay. I'm just going to be fast. Okay. Ow. Wow, that was huge. Yeah. Oh, that one wasn't in there. Your body's doing what it's supposed to do, which is bleed to push out any little things. Yeah. Did you already get that other big one? That was that big one. Oh. I think... Little baby. I think the other ones are right underneath it because... Do you feel them? I don't know. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's got a big bump out. All the bad words. <laughs> So, seriously, this is... Ouch, ouch, ouch. <sighs> I can't see it, but we can feel it, so we know it's in there. Okay. Why did Kim have to leave? She's good at this. She's the nurse. <laughs> okay, here we go. There's something hard right there. I know. Are you ready? No, it's <laughs> on my leg. Okay, keep it on your leg. You ready? No, just do it. I don't... I don't, it's not grabbing it. Ooh, jingle, 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 jingle. Ooh, jingle bears. Oh, my. Melon, melon, melon. Edit that out. Are you sure that's not skin? Oh, my word. Okay, no, I'm positive it's not skin. Uh, the skin's wrapped around it. Okay, one, two. I have sushi. Okay, so these are like for like suture movers, but I can. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave that. Okay, I have a plan. You do your plan. I have a plan. <laughs> I feel like I should be done for the day.
gosh. There we go. Oh <laughs> my word. Oh. Look at that thing. <laughs> well, that's gonna do it for today. We will have to get back at it tomorrow as much as Kira can. I cannot believe <laughs> that she was able to handle that. Uh, so we're gonna call a night. Bye everybody. Thank <laughs> you.